hello guys this is fancy stitches and welcome back to my channel in today's tutorial i'm going to take you guys on how to make this beautiful dress and it's gonna be a detailed tutorial step by step on how to make this beautiful dress and guys if you're interested to learn how to make this beautiful dress then you definitely have to keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel so guys let's so guys for this tutorial i'll be using these measurements this measurement for this tutorial i'll also drop this measurement on my description box so that if you didn't see it clear then you can go to my description box to the description box of this video and see the measurements to start up with this tutorial i went ahead to fold my material into four using my biggest body part then i will be cutting out the half length of my dress first before cutting the handkerchief flip i went ahead to subtract five inches then from shoulder to her bust is 11 inches then to the waistline is 17 inches but because i'll be folding this upper area i'll be making it 18 and a half inches i will use one inch to fold the upper area then use half inch to join the flare part to the shirred this half length so i'll be making it 18 and a half inches Her shoulder measurement, which is 17 inches divided by 2, will give me 8.5 inches. But I won't be using the exact shoulder measurement because this is a shirred dress. The upper part is shirred. I'll be adding extra 3 inches. Extra 3 inches to the shoulder. As you can see, I'm adding extra 3 inches to the shoulder. Then I will subtract 5 inches and come down by 3 inches, making it 8 inches. And this point here will serve as my chest or my armhole line. I'm also going to draw the line. So this is the chest line, bust line and the waist line, the half length. Then... My bust measurement divided by 4, which is 40 and a half inches, divided by 4 will give me 10.1 inches. Then adding extra 7 inch. I'll be using 7 inch for this, which is here. Then I'll mark the same measurement at my bust line. I'll take the same measurement at my bust line. Then my waist measurement, which is 38 and a half inches, divided by 4. Let me use my tape to show you guys how I also divide with my tape. 38 and a half inches, divided by 4. Divided by 2 will give me 19.2 inches. Then divided by 2 again will give me 9.6 9 inches. So I'll mark 9.6 inches and add extra 7 inches allowance to it. So this is my 7 inches. I'm going to connect the lines. Then from this point here, I'm going to connect it to the shoulder point, the off shoulder point that I marked here. So I'm going to, is either you use freehand or you use your curve ruler. So I'll use freehand to draw this so this is the my for the upper part i'm going to cut this out now so this is it the front and back is the same because it's not going to have a zipper and this is for the front and back so i'll use my shirt thread to do this upper part for the sleeve is going to be a puffy sleeve i'll subtract five inches to get the sleeve length which is 21 inches 
and I will be using one inch to fold this upper part and also one inch to fold the down part so I'll be using this whole length for it I'll use my shoulder measurements here eight and a half inches I subtracted 5 inches to step down by 3 inches to mark my point which will serve as my armhole point. Then for the round sleeve divided by 2, round sleeve measurement which is 15 inches divided by 2 will give me 7 and half inches. And I will be using the whole width which is 15 inches. Here I also marked my 3 inches point. Connect it to this point here. Then for this down part, it's also the same. So I won't be needing to adjust because it's going to have elastic at this down part. So let me cut it out. So for this point, I'm going to subtract 2 inches from here, 2 inches. Then give it a slant curve. So this is for the sleeve. To cut the down part, which is the flare part, the handkerchief flare part, I folded my material into two like this this is how I folded it into two then I'm going to fold it again for the handkerchief flip and because I'm adding this material to the down part of down part of my handkerchief flip I will be subtracting 10 inches for this from I'll be subtracting 10 inches from this flame to add it up here I'll be using the two Ankara prints to make my down part pleats cut out this handkerchief part I'm going to divide I'm going to add 7 inches allowance that I added at the top to the hip measurement and the hip measurement is 45 inches 45 inches plus 7 inches will give me 52 inches and 52 inches divided by 6.28 will give me 8.28 so i'll be using eight and a half inches to cut out this particular flame because the top is shirred and it doesn't have any zipper so the flare needs to have enough allowance in it so i will mark my eight inches eight and a half inches sorry i'm going to mark my eight and a half inches then from this eight and a half inches point from this eight and a half inches point I'm going to subtract the half length, the half length which is 17 inches, then to the actual length that I wanted for this, here is where this press stopped is 32 and a half inches. Okay, let's check 32 and a half inches. The dress length, the dress full length is going to be 42 inches. And I have here 32 and a half inches. So let me check because I'm going to attach another material to this, which I show you before. So 32, 32 and a half. Let me count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's complete. Then I will be going with what I have here, which is 8 and a half inches. I'll be going with eight and a half inches and the length and the length here which is from this point to this end here hope you guys can see that is 15 inches so I have subtracted the eight 
and half inches then i'm going to use 15 and half inches so let me cut it out now then i'm going to check the same for this part here as well so here is i'll mark my eight and a half inches and also check if it's the same thing you can see that it's not the same what i have here is 14 inches but i will be using it like that the difference is not much but i will be using it like that so let me mark it out now i'm going to cut out this part and also cut this side out but i won't cut as i'm cutting i will cut exactly on the marked line i will give about half an inch So this is it for the down part for my fillet. Then I'm going to go ahead. This is about one yard of fabric. I'm going to go ahead now and split it. And combine it with the other Ankara print to make my pleated ruffles for my down handkerchief fillet. Into three so that it could be able to contain the down part just i'll be using this required length here forget about the pattern the material is not much for the handkerchief me this is what i will have so guys this is my sherry thread in case for some of us who doesn't know what sherry thread is and my ruler also my shorty is there and my sewing machine oil and i'm going to go ahead now to reel my sherry thread to my reeler and after that i'm going to fix it to my shuttle while reeling your sherry thread to your reeler make sure you don't stretch your thread for a better and a good result don't stretch your thread before I start to smoke my material, which is the upper part, I'll first of all fold in the upper part by one inch, like so, just the way I'm doing it now. I'll fold it in by one inch, then stitch it up and use my shirt thread to do the rest. so guys i'm done with the smoking of my handkerchief flare dress the upper part this is it you can see how it's stretching and i've also smoked for the front and the back first thing i will do here is to attach this upper area this upper area to my to the flare i will just use my pin and pin it down i will just use my pin and pin it down take it to my sewing machine and stitch it after that i will use the same smoky thread on the waist line it's not going to have any zipper so i'll use this smoke thread on the waist line after attaching this to the flame just like this i'll do that and also show you guys how it actually came out so guys i'm done with attaching my shared half length to the flame look at it hope you guys can see that so this is the half length shared half length to my handkerchief flame so the next thing i'm going to do here is to attach my sleeve this is my sleeve i'm going to attach my sleeve just this side my armhole side to my armhole side 
my armhole side to my armhole side just like this and after that that will be all and also i'm going to attach insert an elastic because it's a puffy sleeve so i'll insert elastic one inch ela sorry half an inch elastic to my to my sleeve so guys this is how i made my handkerchief flip pleats for the down part i will be attaching this at the down part of my handkerchief flay this is how i made my pleats and i'm attaching it directly to my handkerchief flay so guys i'm done with both fixing of the ruffles as you can see this is the ruffles and both the sleeve and also i've went ahead to hem my dress this is the back view then for the front view this is for the front view how beautiful the my handkerchief flare dress is looking and this is the front view you can see how i styled both the sleeve and the down part ruffles finally this is actually what she ordered versus what she got so guys if you love this video if you love this tutorial don't forget to hit on the subscription button subscribe to my channel turn on your notification bell to get more of my videos like comment and share